Today's video is all about building this really cool table. I did a fun engraving and I built in a wireless charging station. Check this out. Building this table was a blast. It's for my daughter's birthday and I think she's absolutely gonna love it and I can't wait to surprise her. But like all my projects, let's start with the top. We're gonna cut a couple of boards to size, toss one over the shoulder for good luck, and let's just keep it moving. I've built this table dozens of times, maybe hundreds, I'm not sure, but I've got the process down to a science and it's incredibly fun. And if you want plans to build this table, I'll have them down in the description box below. Using a damp rag to clean up your glue up surface is always the way to go. Some people like the satisfaction of scraping off the cured glue, but for me, that's just more labor. Let's keep it simple and just wipe it off with the water rag. Now we're up to the fun part of this build, which is going to be shaping these legs. We're first going to begin cutting some lumber to size. We need four pieces for four legs. up with a cool template for this leg and I cut it out of quarter inch sheet of ply. Now you could use a number of different ways to get these legs cut out. In this video I'm just going to trace the template onto a board and simply take it over to my bandsaw and cut it out. Now if you had a jigsaw that would work or if you wanted to cut out the template and then glue it to the stock and use a router table you could also do it that way as well. Whew, that was a pretty good bit of work. Now it's time just to sand these boards and get them nice and smooth. But right about now I'm thinking, this is really tiresome and I'm about to nod off and just fall asleep. Does that ever happen to you when you have a bunch of sanding to do? It's either therapeutic and it puts you to sleep or you're bored and it's like watching paint dry. It goes both ways for me. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a massive fan of roundovers. I do rustic style furniture and roundovers complement that so well. If we were doing a modern style piece of furniture, I would do a chamfer. But rustic, go round. on to the top again I pulled it off the clamps ran it through the planer and it seems to be my blades were a little bit dull so it made some marks that I need to use a hand plane but I got them out pretty easily and then I went on to sanding starting with 80 grit and worked my way up to 220. I'm gonna set the legs on top of the tabletop just to help determine what length the middle shelf is gonna be and while I did that off camera we're gonna move on to the next step and place the scroll bases on these two little pieces. One is the bottom plate and one will be the top plate. And it's gonna look something like this. Hooking these legs to the bottom plate and the top plate, I'm just gonna use some tight bond two glue and I'm gonna put a little CA glue there just to seal a bond for a quick grab. And then I'm gonna fasten some two and a half inch screw. Since the two bases were assembled, it was time to flip the tabletop upside down and flip the legs upside down and attach them using Z-clips. Z-clips are great for seasonal wood movement anytime you're working with solid wood. Now you may notice I've got some slots cut out from a biscuit joiner. That's where the Z-clips are going to go, right there and there.
I'd like to thank Mocket & Company for sponsoring today's video. They sell these amazing wireless charging stations, as I'm about to use one right now. We're going to pull out all the pieces. It comes with a Forstner bit and a Forstner stop collar and a little caliper so you can gauge the thickness of the wood and of course the wireless charging station. This is a super easy process and high quality product. If you want to check out this company, I'll have a link in the description box below. The process of installing this charger is incredibly easy. I basically took a measurement of the thickness of my material, adjusted the stop collar on the Forstner bit, and drilled my hole. That's it. Then I inserted the wireless charging station and inserted two screws to what would expand the flaps and the charging station wouldn't come out. Then I flipped the tabletop right side up and prepared for the middle shelf. Now the middle shelf, I'm gonna be using my CNC router to do a special engraving. I wanted to engrave my daughter's name and her birth date into it. Using dark brown tinted CA glue, I filled in the routed edges of the engraving and then I just took some fast spraying adhesive and sprayed it down. I let it sit for an additional 20 minutes before I sanded it smooth. Came out really nice. Now 90% of the time I would use resin, but since I'm short on time, I opted for that option. Now with this table, this is something new. This middle shelf I'm actually going to attach with pocket hole screws, as I'm not really concerned for seasonal wood movement, but since this piece is for my daughter, I can afford to do a trial and error, so to speak. So I want to test and see how much the movement is actually going to be. Once the middle shelf was complete, it was time to move on to the finish coats. I'm spraying one coat of polycrylic water base and I'm going to lightly sand it after two hours of curing by hand with 1500 grit just to get a nice little smooth finish. And then I'm going to come back and spray an additional four more coats just to wrap it up. I really love white oak and keeping it natural is beautiful. Now you may have seen some of my other videos where I do a whitewash technique on white oak. That's also really awesome. But today, I'm just going to keep this simple and straightforward and just spray a nice even clear coat. Should come out really nice. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below. My self-esteem could use a boost. I really appreciate it. And while you're at it, check out some of these videos. You might find something cool to build. All right, guys, see you next time. Peace.